A few months later, after the Oscar winner was banned from attending any Academy events or programs for a decade, he said sorry again in an emotional video shared to YouTube. Yeah, I, I mean, I bet. I bet he would be embarrassed in her. I, I, that's, I mean, Chris really came for Will and the family and everybody, you know? Bruce Lawn. Apparently, Will Smith has responded to Chris Rock's special. Not officially, but through some friends and family. That is what's apparently happened. And so I'm going to play you guys this clip. And this is from uh, Inside Edition. And it's kind of breaking down the entire debacle. Now, if you guys don't know, Chris Rock put out a special, finally responding to Will Smith. Some say it wasn't that funny. Other people say they're glad he kind of got even. Uh, I think, you know, revenge as a Christian is not, not the best course of action. But neither of these guys are Christians. I did a whole video on my analysis of the ideology and the paradigm that led to all of this. And it's the uh, words are violence. Chris Rock's words were violence. Therefore, Will was justified in physically assaulting Chris Rock and slapping him, even though I'm pretty sure Will would disagree with that. All right. So uh, here is kind of Will's response to this entire debacle. I have rooted for Will Smith my whole life. I root for this mother. OK. And now I, I watch Emancipation just to see him get whooped. <laughs> Chris Rock took aim at Will Smith during his Netflix comedy. Something really interesting about, about the special, and Zach Sparrow pointed this out on his channel, is that the, this was the first time I believe Netflix streamed something live. So Netflix is now getting into live streaming. Netflix is now getting into live streaming. That is really interesting. And the reason why he messed up on the joke and that was left in, because usually if you're shooting, you're shooting across multiple cities, is because. It was on awesome. Saturday, one year after the actor slapped him at the Oscars. <laughs> now a source tells ET, Will is embarrassed and hurt by what the comedian said about him and his family. Yeah, I, I mean, I bet. I bet he would be embarrassed and hurt. I, I, that's, I mean, Chris really came for Will and the family and everybody, you know? This is, this is, this is pretty wild. It, I would say it would probably, probably did hurt his feelings. During the special, Chris referenced the cheating rumors that surrounded Will and his wife, Jada Pinkett rumors. Smith, in 2020. That his wife was f***ing her son's friend, okay? Now, I normally would not talk about this but for some reason, these put that shit on the internet. I mean, I mean, he kind of has a point. ...to an entanglement with August. That's what I said. This is so humiliating. entanglement? Yes. <laughs> Yes. A relationship. Yes, it was a relationship. Absolutely. She hurt him way more than he hurt me. Okay. And who's he hit? Me. The special marks the first time Chris has spoken publicly about the Oscars slap. And people like didn't hurt. It still hurts. <laughs> I got summertime ringing in my ears. I I was just glad to see after what happened and all the trauma and stuff that he emerged stronger. I'm glad he's getting a chance to be seen and appreciated. As for Will, he addressed the incident the day after the Oscars on Instagram, offering an apology to Chris. A few months later, after the Oscar winner was banned from attending any Academy events or programs for a decade, he said sorry again in an emotional video shared to YouTube. There is no part of me that thinks that was the right way to behave in that moment. <clears throat> Will Smith agrees with me on this, by the way. If you think Chris Rock's words were violence and therefore justified Will slapping him, that, that, that's goofy. I think Will would disagree with you and would agree with me on that point. Hey, you want to see something crazy? 67% of the people who watch this channel are not subscribed. Do me a quick favor. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you stay up to date on all the videos here on the Bless God Studios channel. Now ET Source says Will hasn't watched the special, but people have told him what Chris said, and Will would like for him to let it go. The source adds that Will has worked on himself and wants Chris to move on so that he and everyone else can too. ET Source says Will is also upset that Netflix gave Chris a platform. Really? You're upset that Netflix gave Chris a platform? And thinks it's distasteful. And while- Wow. I mean, you-, you you kind of took the platform at the Oscars and humiliated this man, but you think it's distasteful that Netflix gave him a platform? <sighs> I mean, I, I don't know. It sounds like a, a bit of a double standard to me there, Will. 
You stole the show, you humiliated this guy, and now you're upset that Netflix gave him a, a platform for something that was clearly in demand. Bill may not have been into it, Chris's friends are behind him 100%. No matter what goes down, we support each other. I support freedom of speech. Obviously, there's no place for violent behavior based on differences in opinions. A source previously told ET, Chris said everything he wanted to say, and now he's ready to move on. Good. Good, 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 good. I hope that these two can bury the hatchet and move on. And I hope that there's a valuable lesson for both of them here, uh, mainly so for Will and the Smiths. But I think there's a greater lesson for Americans and people who buy into this weirdo ideology that what Chris said was violence because it hurt Jada's and Will's feelings, even though Will was initially laughing at it. And therefore, because... It hurt uh, Will's and Jada's feelings that it uh, uh, warranted a physical response of actual physical violence. This is a sickness of the highest order. Eh? This is nonsense. It's, it's, it's a terrible paradigm to view the world through. And I would hope that as now the dust has settled, that we can all be like, yeah, no, 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 no that, was, that, was, that was insane. That was crazy. That was insane. That was crazy. In terms of Chris's special, I mean, he said all kinds of wild and uh, crazy stuff there that I, I would hope that he would, um, I don't know, work, find Jesus. I want both of these brothers to find Jesus. Give your life to Jesus. That's the moral of this. That could, I, that's how you prevent all this stuff. There you go. All right. Sorry, but you slap a comedian on live TV and expect them to not lash out during a live show. Hey, I'm saying it was okay on either side, but it was about, it was bound to happen. That's a W take. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's, he's, he's mad he got a platform. Like, that's such a weird thing to say. Such a weird thing to say. I mean, I think at the very least, you should be happy that he was able to go on and um, capitalize off of this, right? Like, like remove God and, and Jesus from it. At the very least, you should be okay to say, well, you, you humiliated him publicly, and now he went on and he monetized this. He, he, he didn't say anything for a year, and he put out a special about it, and he figured out, he said what he needed to say, he moved on. Which, nothing he said was that crazy. Nothing he said was that crazy. And everything, everything he said, we all knew. Not like he dropped some new information. The part that not that is not discussed is the spiritual side of all this. This man, uh, Will, said verbatim he went to multiple uh, old retreats to fix himself. That's right. Not God, and wonders why his life is in decline. The spiritual component to all this is, is interesting. But apparently Chris got, I think, $40 million for two specials, which is a crazy amount of money. It's a crazy amount of money. Hey, this clip is from our daily after-party stream. If you enjoyed it, consider signing up for our Patreon community for only $5 a month, where you get access to the replays of our daily after-party streams, as well as the uncut extended versions of our podcast, Discord access that's private, and a discount code for our merch store, only $5 a month. And ultimately, it's the best way to help us contextualize the gospel of Jesus using media, podcasting, and of course, YouTube. The link for that is in the description or in the pinned comment. The perks are amazing. You should get on there. It's only $5 a month. I'll see you over there, all right? Peace.